Hello everyone and welcome to Three Times a Gamer. I just wanted to do a video on the other playable character on the demo for Octopath Travelers. Um, this character is Primrose, who is a dancer in the pleasure district of the um, world in this game. Um, so I was quite tired when playing this, so I haven't done narration throughout unfortunately this time, so sorry about that. So I've just cut the video down a bit just to save some time rather than the whole demo. Um, I felt this was a bit shorter than the demo for uh, Old Brick, and certainly in terms of the combat side of things. Um, but I would say that I actually prefer the story of what I've played of Primrose compared to Old Brick. I found it was a lot darker in tone, which I think is fantastic. I love dark RPG fantasy, so yeah. Very glad for that. Um, and yeah, it was interesting actually play, playing both because you get to see even more of how the combat works between the two though in terms of how enemies are weak against certain uh, weapons. So with Old Brick you could see that different enemies were weak against different weapon types. Whereas with uh, Primrose you can see that some enemies are weak against specific magic elements as well. So that's an extra spin on the battle dynamics which is cool. Um, so yeah, I'll just leave you to watch. Uh, you can see that I didn't prepare for the uh, boss battle very well, but I did it just. <laughs> very just managed to beat him. And also as well, you can see there is a slight glitch I had um, later on in the demo. Obviously they're still working on the game, it's an early demo, so I'm not concerned. However, if that was in the actual main game and hadn't saved it for a while, after doing a lot of levelling up, I wouldn't be particularly happy. But it did actually sort itself in the end, so if it does that then again that's not going to be an issue but uh, anyway guys I'll leave the footage rolling for you and I will see you in the next video bye make sure he's dead let's leave this place before we're seen <laughs> it's done oh <sighs> will never forget. Three men, each marked with the sign of the crow. One on his left arm. One on his right. And the last on his neck. Three men, foul scavengers, just like the bird whose mark they bear. They took my father from me. And I will never forget. Always the same dream. I wish I had your confidence, Primrose. I couldn't imagine nodding off minutes before my cue. How nice it must be to be the master's favorite. <sighs> Fine. Go on and keep your airs. Act as though you're better than the rest of us. It doesn't change the fact that you're just another dancer in the sands, Primrose. Nothing but a kept woman, here to flatter the dignity of men who pay for the privilege. I suppose you're right. <sighs> Shh, enough chatter. Master Helganish is coming. Do I keep you women to titter here in the shadows? My customers are waiting for their entertainment! The opening act should be on that stage already. Now, get out there and earn your keep! Bunch of 
useless strays. But not you, Primrose. You are the only one I can rely on. You flatter me, Master. Of oh, hardly. Why, this tavern's custom has increased tenfold since you stepped on our stage. But do not go forgetting yourself. It was I who groaned you for this world. And I will be forever grateful for that, Master. You were an ignorant girl when I picked you up. Completely useless. I've taught you everything you know. What happened to your sweet little smile? Who puts a roof over your head and food on your plate? Who bought the jewels that adorn your pretty neck? I am ready. Excuse me. Oh -ho! Never forget.
But of course. Going to get away. I won't let that happen. And where might you be off to, kitten? <sighs> Master Helganish. Whatever are you doing here at this hour? <laughs> Funny you should ask. A worthless little stray, this one. But she was kind enough to help me catch a rat. Yusufa! She 
She was quite intent on keeping her mouth shut. But my boys helped her get it open. It seems I was too lenient with the girl. I won't make that mistake again. No! Finally over. I must say, at least her last performance had some life. If she had shown that sort of potential earlier, I might have kept her on longer. <sighs> Enough. What was that? Enough for you. This was the last night that I belonged to you. Oh, was it now? So some wheels do turn in that pretty little head of yours. Here I thought it a waste as empty as the desert. I saw you for the foul swine you are the first time I laid eyes on you. You would take that Tone with me? You're nothing but a stupid whore! You would have died on the street if not for me! You have given me nothing. I have always danced on my own two feet. I have always chosen where I step. Who do you think you're speaking to, whore? All these years, the jeers, the beatings, the dishonor, I endured it all. All for this day, the day that man appeared before me. I need your stage no longer. I dance for myself now. You forget yourself, little kid. But, but I understand. This is just your little show, yes? You wanted to see your master frown. Fine! Very well! You've had your fun! <laughs> that naughty mouth of yours belongs to me! 
put it where it belongs, and if you please me to my satisfaction, I will overlook your impertinence. Hmm. Master, go pleasure yourself. <laughs> Wrong answer, kitten. You know what I do with cats that bite, don't you? I put them down, just like that one. <laughs> it's a shame, Primrose. You were always my favorite. What a waste. Yes, terrible. Terrible shame. The only shame is that I could not do this sooner, Master. Time for the main event. I am ready.
and ready. the dancer yourself in the end. I 
and ready. The show is over. I'm ready. I am ready. 